All right, everybody, welcome back to Bean Snowball. Bright and early breaking news. Honestly, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. We were expecting this for a while now. Bill Belichick is finally on his way out in New England. Obviously, this has been some news that had come out since uh, well, it was it was reported a couple weeks ago that they had, I guess, in a way, mutually decided to end this this long, long tenure after the the week eight, lo- the week ten loss in Germany to the Colts. I mean, you know, you could see after it it's been on a downturn ever since Brady left. I think you know we can all we can all agree on that, and it's. It's it's just a, a surprising downfall to, to to this team, and obviously, you know, like you keep saying, you know, you always feel the need to reiterate it. I think it goes without saying, you know, obviously, you know, his his legacy was intact from from the start. It just is, it just is, you know, it, it's its own thing to see him, you know, from this this I guess you know this unique fall from grace. Yeah, honestly, you know, it's it's been known since you know I've said it earlier in the season. I mean, you, I know everyone knows you know, his legacy. You know, it's intact with all the compliments he did. I know a lot of people saying, you know, like, sure, you know, could Brady carry him that whole time to the tenor? You know, you can make that argument, but you know, Belichick Royal is still a great coach from the way he developed Brady and made him a better player than we than he was now. I mean, still gotta give him his flowers, give him credit what he's doing. I mean, he did get six Super Bowls with Brady, turning that Patriots franchise around. And you know, it just you know, you know, this past uh, this past couple of days with football with these head coaches for uh, it's just it's been crazy with Bill Belichick, but obviously. It was expected, like like you said, after that loss in Germany, it was you know it was gonna come to an end, and you know it sucks that you know he ended his career in a loss, especially to the Jets, you know a team that he's been owning, you know uh, I believe what it was like 15 times in a row that they yeah, beat, no, beat the Jets before 15, that game, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. So obviously you know obviously Bill Belichick one of the greats, you know it's gonna be a uh, you know he's officially done, you know I would like to see him in the booth, um you know call, no, he's not officially games. done though, we we yeah. don't know just yet. I mean obviously he is. Yeah. He's, he's a very sought after head coaching candidate mm-hmm. where he's expected. I mean, a lot of people are really saying, you know, the Chargers, which, you know, I've, I've had my own things. I don't think that'd be a good fit for him as much as people uh, love to say. You know, they're saying, you know, Herbert could be his new Brady. I don't know, him and Herbert they could, could be like, they could be like, I mean, you know, look, a duo. It's, it is, you know, I guess if you want to say a match made in heaven, sure, go for it. But I I mean, I don't really see it being a good fit for him. I mean, there's, there's openings, I, I guess. There's even the rumblings of... Uh, he goes to Vegas and Brady comes back with the, with the whole ownership thing we see there. Obviously, nothing like that's gonna happen. There's, but I mean, he's. I really do see him coming back into it, and as a head coach. I mean, he's probably gonna want to come back to try to finally break the the wins record. So he's um, 15, 15 he wins shy from Don Shulis the title. Yeah, so, so I mean, you could see him uh, getting like another two or three years to to get that record. I mean, I, I definitely see him doing it. And, you know, as for the Patriots side. We obviously see the 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 main guy lined up, Mike Rabel. It's it's every everything's yeah. falling into place for him to join. But I mean, also look out for a sneaky candidate in DC, Gerard Mayo. We're seeing because um, Rabel's going to be like so sought after. I mean, like I just mentioned, the Chargers definitely a place that would love to throw money at him. The Falcons probably even I, I've been hearing rumblings. Then of course the main one being the Steelers. You know, if something ends up happening with Mike Tomlin, so we'll wait wait ahead on that. But there's definitely spots for for Vrabel to go. If it's not him, there's a chance for Gerard Mayo to be the one to to be the one to be promoted right there. And I mean, you know, just like what we're saying, you know, there's what is it, eight head coach openings. It's gonna be a really long, uh, a big, a big off season for a lot of teams. Obviously, what it's like a quarter of the of the entire league is looking for a new coach. Yeah. Yeah, obviously, you know, the head coaching markets, you know, it's pretty much, you know, I guess you get this pretty much wide open. I know like a lot of candidates, I don't know, you mentioned Raheem Morris, you know, Dan Quinn, especially Rabel, you know, a lot of, a lot, a lot of these, you know, these head coach openings, you know, I know a, a couple of teams, they, they will you know, throw as much money as they want in order to get them, especially the Rabel. I know, and like, I know I said this in the last video, you know, any, any team would be happy to pick up Rabel. Obviously, you know, we already mentioned that. Same thing with Belichick. I mean, sure, he still has the mind of a head coaching position, you know, like you said, no status on him right now. If he wants to continue coaching, or if he's retired from coaching, you know, uh, you know, it'd always be nice to see him either as an analyst, you know, on ESPN or whatever broadcast network. Or I don't think he's going to analyze, man. Yeah, he's mean, not. Knows? He's not the TV. He's not the TV type guy. I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe he'll have a change of heart. You know, you know. You, he you've seen him times, in. But... You've seen him interviews. Yeah. Well, Let's just think know, about that. He doesn't want to be on camera. Let's see. You never know. Anything can happen. But obviously, you know, he's still a really good position to be a head coach for any other team. You know, may not be in the NFL, but you know. It's NFL season. It's been weird. Shit's gonna happen. So, I, like I like like we've been always saying, any given Sunday, you know, a lot of surprises can happen. Yeah, obviously, I'm very, 
very intrigued to see what Belichick ends up doing. Still going to say, you know, the charges probably is what's going to happen the most likely. Not what I would think would be good, but uh, it's the most likely in my opinion. But of course, we'll wrap that up. Uh, it's going to be uh, just a quick little video. I mean, obviously, this was probably the biggest news of the offseason. And now it's finally dropped. And I think this is what a lot of teams have been waiting on. Now it's going to be, I mean, sure, there's there's some candidates and playoff teams that are good, that they're going to wait on there too. But uh, this was the big news drop. And a lot of people are finally going to start, uh, they're, it's, they're going to start moving on these head coaching moves. So don't be surprised if we see one of these moves go by now. But of course, hope you guys like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys, hopefully if nothing else happens, we'll see you guys back for the uh, playoff preview.